Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Abacus 9 Light Pendant. This is the 139057. So this is the one where the power is coming from the ceiling. If you guys want to see another version kind of like this, go into floor lamps and there's actually a fixture which is almost the same thing but the power is coming from the floor and it anchors at the top so you might as well look at both of those and it's listed there i think it's on the bottom of that section anyway 139057 a lot of lots to talk about why don't we talk about the overall height of the fixture itself and that's going to be the distance from the ceiling to the very bottom that's going to be the bottom of those little weights that are on the bottom of the cables that are coming down they have weights on them to keep them very taut okay nice and straight. So you got 40 inches at its shortest and this can be as long as 220 inches. That is huge. So that's almost coming down from well over uh, two stories. Um, and it's slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees. You might want to touch base with me on that just so I make sure I see what you guys are up to. So the physical imprint of the piece, the size is 22.3 inches long, about there, 5.5 inches in depth, and that's going to be the depth of those spheres, those glass spheres, so that's what you have there. Canopy up in the ceiling, 4.5 inches by 27.5. I want to show you more about the canopy and how we do that is we look at the installations instructions. So if you're on the page for this on handmadeinvermont.com, look over on that side, Midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations instructions PDF. So open that up for me. So lots of great details you can see on those line drawings that you really can't see in a photograph. So it's going to show you the inside of that canopy, how it's going to attach. It's going to show you how to put everything together. It's going to show you how you have positive and negative low voltage LED, dedicated LEDs, don't forget, coming down um, on this. So it's going to show you how you put the whole thing together. It just shows a lot of great information um, on this fixture and all of the Hubberton Forge fixtures, we usually have those PDFs on the pages, so take advantage of those if you guys can. You have nine of these modules, and the modules are basically, you have a spherical piece of glass, you have an inner core that's also covered with a, a frosted white glass called opal. On the ends, you have these pieces that have holes drilled through them with grippers, and the grippers, when you press down on them, are going to release and allow you to ride these modules up and down those cables. And you can, you can put them anywhere you want, basically. And remember, some are negative, some are positive. You'll see when you get the little spheres, they'll have a little sticker on each end telling you which one is positive and negative. And it's going to be the same thing for the cables coming down. So just make sure you take a, take a, a real good look at those kind of things, okay? So you've got nine of these and you have three watts in each of them. That's 1,800 lumens. That's quite a bit. This is, a, um, I think you can go up to, yeah, well, let's back up for a second. So 1,800 lumens, you can put it on a dimmer. Make sure you tell your installer you're going to be using a dedicated LED on this so they put the right dimmer on the wall. This fixture will support up to 14 of those modules. You're going to get nine to begin with. If you guys want to buy more of those, to you know, make this really tall, just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and I can quote those out for you. Okay. So the other thing is you have on this automatically are those weights that are on the bottom of the uh, cables coming down. You can also order an optional floor plate that's going to you know basically screw into your floor. So you'll have these all the way down to the floor. And it's a cleaner look, but it's, it's an optional thing that you guys can do if you want to do that. Okay? You've got two different types of glass on this. You're going to have opal, which is going to be our opaque white glass. You can see it next to me. And the other one is going to be called cool gray. So that's a transparent cool gray glass. You see it right here. And you'll be able to see through that glass. You'll be able to see that inner core, which is covered in glass as well. And uh, they're both pretty sweet. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video so it's really important that you kind of watch the video use the chart you can click on that chart on different things so you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron it'll do the same thing but it's really important that you understand how Hubbard's Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different on different fixtures. 
Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinue things in showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing, that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half, and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email, and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.